I can experience the beauty of the world without seeing any of it. From the time I was six months old, my family knew there was some kind of medical issue, but it wasn't until I was four years old that they finally got the diagnosis of a disease called retinitis pigmentosa that basically causes gradual loss of vision. Unfortunately, they can't tell you when that vision loss will happen, how it'll happen. They just know that one day you'll most likely go blind. So all of my ideas of what the world looked like changed from being what it looked like with my eyes and how I experienced it with all of my other senses. I think Dove asked me to try out this body wash because I'm so in tune with my hands and how things feel to me. I really navigate the world um, by touch. When I pumped it out, I was like, oh, now this is different. The foam was really light, fluffy, weightless, and it feels really moisturizing, not sticky. I've never tried anything like this as a body wash before. They just know that one day you'll most likely go blind. So all of my ideas All these different volumes of it. In at number four, not all blind people wear dark glasses. Now, it's very obvious if you know a blind person, we can see Molly right here looking fabulous, not wearing her dark glasses, but this is a common misconception. Where does this come from, Molly? I think it comes from the media. I think like movies and television shows always portray those of us who are blind wearing dark sunglasses. It's become just an obvious symbol of blindness, but it's actually like majority of us don't wear them. Yes, some blind people wear sunglasses, that could be to a variety of different reasons, usually light sensitivity. I wear dark sunglasses when I go outside, the same right. way a lot of sighted people would. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't need to wear sunglasses. That's really interesting. There you go, movies. If you're gonna make a fabulous, sassy, blind person, take off the glasses. And we don't wanna feel your face. <laughs> So all of my ideas of what the world looked like changed from being what it looked like with my eyes and how I experienced it with all of my other senses. Awesome, well guys, you heard it here first. So in at number nine, you may not know this, but not all blind people can't see at all. Blindness is in fact a spectrum. 90% of people who are considered blind actually have some remaining vision. So in my case, although I'm considered totally blind, I have some light perception, so I can look around a room and point out exactly where all the lights in the room are. I have a little bit of shadow perception, so I can see some shapes of things and stuff like that, but it really varies person to person. My vision is completely my vision. It's unique to any other person who's blind or visually impaired and their vision is unique to mine. Fantastic, that's really interesting to know because I thought that sort of blind was either lights on or lights off and it's good to know that there's actually It's a very hole. rare for somebody to see absolutely nothing at all. But do you think your perception of lights and things like that helps or hinders you? It really depends on the situation, that's a really good question. Uh, sometimes I think it hinders me because sometimes I think I'm seeing something and it's not actually there, things like that. Sometimes I think I can rely on my vision more than I can. I I think I have more sight than I really do. So I'll be like, oh, I see that, but I actually don't. In other cases, I do think it really does help me because it can help me make out some shapes of things at certain times. And it is visual feedback, visual stimulation for my brain. So I think if I did lose that as well, um, I would miss it. In at number eight, blind people do not just rely on cane. 